This little girl, a survivor, who survives cancer, not once but twice, including bone and lung cancer. We know now that she is not only dead, but dismembered. Her prosthetic leg found, thrown away like it's trash. And finally, a secret grand jury speaks and hands down a murder indictment against a real-life evil stepmother, Elisa Baker. What hell that stepmother put this little girl through before her death, only God in heaven knows. Oh, and one other, Satan Straight out to Jane Casares, legal correspondent, in session. Jane, what do we know? Well, Nancy, the grand jury returned an indictment not for first-degree murder, for second-degree murder, Nancy, in the death of little Zara Baker. I don't understand it. I thought in the presser, I clearly heard them say malice aforethought. Typically, that is first-degree murder, is it not? Malice aforethought is first-degree murder. In this case, they are saying that it was not by premeditated design, but it was intent to kill. But, Nancy, North Carolina has the death penalty. She will not be eligible for the death penalty, nor eligible for life in prison day for day, because second-degree murder is 50 years or life in prison. But we were told today that normally it's about 30 years. You know, I've got the indictment. I'm not seeing cause of death. That's because they it, don't know cause of death. It is violence by homicidal means. They don't know what actually caused her death. Why? Because her body was dismembered. And when it was found, it was basically bones. And the majority of it, Nancy, they did not.